everyone, my name is Brittany and you're watching Mouse and Mama. I make Disney content and also just other stuff. So, mostly Disney stuff though. But, okay, so you guys, my hair is a mess, I know, like, ugh, I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> um, but, today's video, I will be showing you all of the pins that I got out of my Wishes candles. So I have accumulated six Wishes candles, so that means I have six pins to show you. And like, I feel like I haven't seen many videos of what people actually get out of their candles. They just kind of like, you know, they open the candles, they show them, they say there's a pin in them, but they don't show you what pins they get. So before you make a purchase, I would like to let you know what kind of pins I got and what is typical, you know what I mean? So, I feel like six candles is a pretty good, like, sample size, you know what I mean? To, like, show you what you're probably gonna get. I'm sorry if you can hear my dishwasher in the background. Um, I have to film in a very different place today. This is my dining room table, actually, um, because I have to also watch the baby who is right here in view. I'm not really gonna get a chance to film before this has to go up. So I'm gonna show you which pin came out of which candle because you know, you would think that maybe they would be like, like the pin would match the candle if you know what I mean. Spoiler alert, it doesn't. Um, so I'm gonna show you the first pin that I got and the first candle that I got it out of. So we got Very Merry Treats, which got a little mangled when I took the pin out. I'm gonna show you the inside. Hey buddy, please don't shake. Um, this is what the inside of the candle looks like. Um, yeah, so over here is where the pin was. Um, I dig my pins out as soon as I can see the foil. I'm just like, I use like a butter knife, um, like a plastic one, and uh, dig those can or dig those pins out. So. So I was thinking maybe I would get like a Christmas candle, but instead I got Ariel. Um, I'm unfortunately not using the back camera today, so the focusing is gonna be a little problem, but um, I'm sure you can tell what it is. Um, it's Ariel and it's a teacup pin. And um, it is a hidden Mickey pin. So this says hidden Mickey pin five of six. Um, so I'm guessing they were all like teacups with different characters on them. So this one for me, not my favorite because I don't like The Little Mermaid very much and um, Ariel's just not a character that I like. So this pin, a bust, but the candle, I really love this one. So that's okay, you know? Um, so this I, I'm sure was like a blind box thing, so. I was thinking maybe they're all gonna be like blind box pins, like pins that were like scrappers, you know? Um, so the second one that I got <laughs> came out of um, Unbirthday Cake, which I like the smell of, but it's not my favorite. Um, I was hoping I would like it more, but it's just, it's just a little too buttercreamy smelling. Um, I was hoping it would be more vanilla than buttercream, but, um, yeah, so they all, like, I did my review on them, and at first they all did smell pretty good, but, like, I just feel like I wasn't used to the smells yet, and maybe I was just too happy about them, you know what I mean? This, I'm not a huge fan of this one. I wouldn't buy it again. Um, and unfortunately, I'm gonna show you the pin that I got out of it. It's another hidden Mickey pin. And it's Ariel's sister. <laughs> so another Little Mermaid pin, two in a row. I got them on the same day I got them out. So I was just like, oh, okay. So we're, we got a, uh, uh, um, a theme going here. So I think her name is Alana, I'm pretty sure. I, I think I looked it up and that was her name. Um, this one says Hidden Mickey pin two of five and she's on a little seashell. Um, obviously I do not, like, I have no hard, like, I'm trying to think of a way to say this. It's not Wish's fault that I don't like it. So like, you know, some people might get this and be really excited. Um, this just isn't my thing. So, you know, um, so that was number two. 
So number three was where things started to get exciting because I had the creative, and this is the Rapunzel themed one. Um, also my hands are blue again. They aren't always blue, but they're blue every time I wash my hair. So um, just bear with them. So I thought maybe I was gonna get a Rapunzel pin out of the Rapunzel candle. I sadly did not. Everyone knows Rapunzel's my favorite princess, but we still got one that I'm very excited about. We got Eve from Wally. And she's just adorable. Look at her. She's so happy. I know that this pin was part of a two pack that you get, you get Wally and you get Eve. So the fact that like, I know this wasn't a blind box pin that made me happy. So like, that's not all you can expect in the, in the, the pin, in the candles. But yeah, this one doesn't say anything on the back, like about like what it's a part of because it was like a, it's just like a, what are they called? A rack pin? It's like a rack pin. Um, and it's still a little waxy on the back, but that's okay. Um, so this one was the first one that I was really, really happy about and excited. And I just love this pin in general. And the fact that I got it like for free, you know, like it's just nice. Like I know it's technically not free because I mean, I paid $20 for the candle. So, so if you don't know what Wishes Candles are, they are... Some of them are Disney themed like these and some of them aren't like, you know, um, like the Very Merry Treats was just, you know, a Christmas one. Um, but these ones, the eight ounce ones, um, all have Disney pins inside and it's a mystery. So anyway, now that I've said that, the rest of this probably makes more sense if you didn't know what I was talking about. So next we got one out of my favorite, my favorite scent that I've gotten from them. It smells like cereal, like cinnamony cereal. It smells like, it smells like a very specific cereal that I've had before and I don't know. So anyway, this one smells the best to me. This is my favorite one. And um, I got it out of a Bibbidi box. It is a Bibbidi exclusive. This glitter is amazing. They all have glitter on the top, but like this one is just all glitter, which like, um you know, around it is all glitter. And I love this. They need to definitely make more with, that are glittery around, you know? I was like, maybe I'll get a Christmas candle out of this, or a Christmas candle. Maybe I'll get a Christmas pin. And this is the first one that I actually got a pin that matches the candle. I got this adorable Dale pin, chip pin. I don't know. I don't ever remember which one's which, but it's so cute. Um, He's got a little bow around him and he's on a green star. And I just, I love this pin. I love it so much. Uh, I just joined a Chippendale swap and I'm really excited about that. So that's gonna be coming in, I believe April. Um, so look out for that because it's gonna be really cute. I'm not a huge Chippendale fan, but they're really adorable. So um, I really do, you know, want to collect more of them. I wouldn't mind having more of them, you know. Um, so the next one that I got, was out of Hot Fresh Baked, which is another one of my favorite smells up close. I feel like none of them smell good now. I don't know, it's weird. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just not in the mood, but um, this one is the Churros Hot Fresh Baked one, um, which I loved when I first opened it, so I don't know. But uh, out of that one came a strange one, a strange pin that I didn't expect. We got a butterfly. I think it looks like a butterfly, but it's pink and it has Mickey heads all over it. If anyone knows like if there is a character like this or like, I don't know if this is from something, but it's just, to me, it's just a butterfly with Mickey heads on it. And the back um, doesn't say hidden Mickey or anything. It just says, you know, official pin trading Disney parks 2010. Um, so if you know anything about this, let me know. Um, but to me, it's just a butterfly with Mickey heads on it, which I don't hate this. It's very unique, you know, for my collection. Um, I wouldn't buy this pin because, you know, it's just random, but um, it was different. So I like that. Um, so the last one that we got a pin out of was Big Top and it did get a little um, messed up from getting the pin out. I'm gonna smell this one because, yeah, 
I don't know. This one was okay, but oh, I meant to say, okay, about this one. It smells really good like like this, but it really doesn't fill the room like I was hoping it would. Um, it, but if I was in a smaller room, I'm sure it would, and it is a smaller candle, so maybe that's why, you know. But anyway, the Big Top Souvenirs is the last one that I got a 10 out of, and this is the one I got out of this one. Another unexpected one, for sure. Um, I believe this is one of the Three Little Pigs, uh, and it's definitely a hidden Mickey. You can see Mickey over there, and it's on like a Mickey glove. Um, and this one says, Hidden Mickey, one out of eight. So, it's a three little pig. Definitely don't have any of these. Um, but, yeah, so very unexpected. So, you guys, so out of these six candles, I basically got two pins that I actually really liked. Um, you know, I could probably trade, like, some of these like somebody needs the whole set you know what I mean but like I don't know I really like this one this one is my favorite of all of them and I didn't even pick this one and it's a Bibbidi exclusive so I can't buy it again um, but I am gonna get another one because I won a Bibbidi Christmas box giveaway um, which should be coming soon so thankfully I'll have a brand new one of these and a new pin to show you and I will probably show you that on Instagram so go follow me at mouse and mama on Instagram and um, I'll probably put it in my story or something but I really hope this video gave you like an idea of what you might get in your wishes candle and um, you know like I did my review already if you haven't seen that video go watch that I wasn't like I don't know how to explain it. I feel like they smell different now that they've been lit. I don't know if that's true. I don't know what it is. I don't like, I just feel like I, maybe it's just because I've smelled this one now and it's my favorite and I love it. And like the other ones just don't compare anymore. I don't know. Um, but I definitely wasn't a fan of the creative. It, like, I love that it's Rapunzel themed. So I was like super excited about it. Oh my God. It's just so strong. It just smells like sugar and it just like it just hits you so hard and it's just it's too much. It's not my kind of smell. Um hot very merry treats. Let me smell it. They all smell like really intense. But uh very merry treats basically smells like a Tootsie roll on top. Um I haven't gotten to the bottom of it yet, so I'm excited to see what the sugar cookie cookie base smells like um but anyway my first reactions to them I think were mostly because I was excited about them and like I do love candles and smelling candles so like you know the scents when you first open them I feel like I don't know they're just better than when you smell them for a long time I don't know what it is I don't know I'm definitely gonna order some more eventually and try them out and again, this is not like a bad review of Wishes at all. Um, this is just to show you guys my feelings and what I got. So if you guys want to see more Disney content, please subscribe if you haven't already. There will be some fun videos coming out next week. I'm getting two Mickey loot boxes, um, one of the regular subscriptions and a pin subscription. So um, look out for those and I... We'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you have the best day ever. Bye.